Hello everybody. Um, today uh, I'm going to show you uh, a simple and nice way that you can uh, use to draw the uh, stages in Maquette Theater diagram using Microsoft Excel. Um, so it's kind of continuing what we were saying last time in the previous video. So this is what we ended up doing last uh, video that we drew um, the uh, equilibrium curve in the XY diagram of the Maquette Theater diagram and um, uh, we uh, drew the top section bottom section and the q line and we uh, we are now ready to uh, draw the stages on the same diagram so it's going to be the same thing um, you just uh, get the two points on the same curve and then plot this uh, um, this uh, two points as a line and uh, that's all so the cool thing about this um, uh, diagram or the drawing the uh, um, the stages that it consists of two uh, two lines so one uh, if you start from the top section it's one horizontal and then one vertical so this is one stage if you like do this step uh, one horizontal and then one vertical so for the horizontal line you know that you start with xd and xd and then the other uh, point on this line would be um, uh, having the same value of y because it's a horizontal line and the X would uh, would be on the equilibrium curve so it will uh, you can you can apply the equilibrium curve equation on that point uh, so this is what we're gonna do and for the vertical line it's gonna be the same it lies uh, the, the you know the first point from the previous uh, uh, line and then the second point would have the same X with different Y so this is what we're gonna do it's just getting uh, the right points from the equations and that's why I have all the equations here. This is the top section. And these are the equilibrium curve to get y from x or x from y. And we have the same values of alpha, the r, the q, everything is the same. Um, so let's get started. So for, for the first stage here, uh, it's going to start with the xd and xd. So uh, again, I'll put everything in terms of these values that I have here. So uh, if I do any change, then it would be uh, reflected directly to the stages. So for um, the horizontal line, we said it's going to have the same uh, y, so uh, this is going to be the same uh, point. And for the x, it, it lies on the equilibrium curve, so it will apply, you, you can apply the equilibrium curve on that point. So uh, actually we have the y and we need the x, and this is uh, the two forms of the equation, just some uh, simple mathematical manip manipulations, you'll get this uh, x is a function of y. So what we're gonna do is to calculate x from y what we have that we have here. So uh, it's y divided by alpha and then press f4 plus 1 minus alpha again and then f4 and this is multiplied by y and here we go so this is the first part of the stage for the second part of the stage what we need to do is we'll starting from the uh, last point that we just calculated uh, so this is the same point on the uh, uh, or the, the end point of the first line of the stage and then the second uh, point would have the same uh, x because it's gonna go down so it's uh, have the same value of x so this is what we're gonna do now and for y it is gonna be calculated from the uh, operating line of the top section which has this equation now this is multiplied by x i'm sorry this is x so let's go and see it will be um r and then press f4 uh divided by we don't need this bracket now so it's r divided by r plus one multiplied by uh, x I need to have a 4 here and at the end you will have plus xd which is this value on the empress f4 divided by r 4 plus 1 so uh, we're now good so you have the the first stage then and the cool thing about this um, this way that I'm going I'm doing now is that you you will uh, write the formulas so that you can apply them for any other stage you will just uh, copy and paste the stages or the equations to any stage because they are all calculated from here and from um, the equations that we already know. So let's uh, see how we can uh, draw these stages. So um, just to keep in mind, you'll have a lot of lines on that uh, 
uh, diagram. So imagine you have now one, two, three, four, five. You have five uh, lines, and now you 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 will add two lines per stage. So let's say if you have seven stages in the top section and seven in the bottom, this is fourteen by two. It will be twenty-eight plus five. It will be like thirty something. So you will have a lot of lines. So you need to uh, name the stages or each line so you can easily tell which which line is this. So I'll I'll call it top. 1a so i know it's the top section this is the first line of the top section and here we go and for the the second one i'll make it top uh, 1b and it will be this x and this y and here we go so so it's now done but of course you'll not see anything because it's very uh narrow space but if you get closer you'll see uh, here here you have the two lines so uh, they are kind of thick and like have weird colors but this is like how Excel draws the line and you can get uh, take, take care of this later but um, it, it's very useful here because it's very narrow space and if you draw this with your hand it will be very uh, very difficult so that's why I, I like to do it this way so let's see if I want to make another stage I would just take these take a copy of them but just one thing you need to do just for the second stage, you don't need to do this anymore. So for the second stage, it will start from the point where the first stage ended. So this is all what you need to do, is to put this x equal to the last x and this y equals to the last y. And then everything is, is done. So you can now uh, select data and another line. So we have top 1a, top 1b, it will be top 2a and the x values will be these and the y values will be these and here we go and I'll add another one uh, I'm gonna call it top 2 uh, b and the x values are these and the y values are these and here we go and we're done so again it's not very clear let's get closer and see how it looks so yeah it, it it looks great so i'm not gonna go for all the stages uh now so i'll just uh, do two uh, two stages in the top section and two in the bottom section and you you now know how to how to take care of everything so for the bottom section uh this is i'm sorry this is bottom section so for the bottom section it's gonna be the same you start with xw and xw and again I'll get take everything uh, as a function of these uh, inputs and you have the same idea but in this case you will start with a vertical line so it will have the same value of y and you need to calculate x from the equilibrium relation so it's um, um, uh, I'm sorry, you're going to calculate y, so it have the same x, and you want to calculate y from the equilibrium relation, which is going to be uh, alpha, and then press F4, multiplied by this x, divided by 1 minus 1 minus alpha, and then press F4, multiplied by x, and here we go. So you have the first part of the first stage, and the second part will be the same. You have this, and this, uh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so now you have this uh, starting from the end of the first line, and for um, this case, you have the same um, x, uh, I mean the same y, I'm sorry, they have the same y because it's horizontal line, you're going with the constant y line, and now you want to calculate x, and x actually is going to lie on the bottom section line. The bottom section line has an equation that we do not know because we got the bottom section line by drawing this point and this point, so we don't know the slope, we don't know the intercept, but we know these two points of the bottom section, and actually it's simple now to get the slope and intercept of two uh, from two lines on a straight line. So to get the slope, it's the difference between y's minus difference between x, so this is what I'm um, going to do now. Um, this minus this. So it's delta i minus delta x. And for the intercept, it is pretty simple. You know that the, the straight line equation is y equals ax plus b. So if you want to get the b, then you are going to do y minus ax. So I'll pick any one of these. It's going to be y minus 
a multiplied by a x x and of course it's going to be negative because we know that the extension of this line should meet somewhere here so now you know the uh, constants of the straight line equation of the bottom section so if you want to get x it will be y minus b all divided by a so this is y uh, equals y minus b this is the intercept and then press f4 and this is divided by a and then press f4 so we have this equation now or the this first stage in the bottom section so i'll select data i'll add sorry it's bottom 1a and its x values will be uh, sorry will be these and the y values are these and i'll add another one it is bottom 1b these are the x values and these are the y values and we are done with the first stage let's get closer to see how it looks like um so yeah it is still the lines are thick very thick that's why i, I recommended last time that you use very thin lines so you can um, see easily which uh, which line is going to which place especially in these uh, uh, narrow areas so uh, okay so let's try the second stage as I said you're gonna copy everything uh, and then you get these equals to the last two points in the previous stage and select data and add bottom to a and these are the x values and uh, oops i'm sorry these are the x values and these are the y values and then add bottom to b these are the x values and these are the y values and we are done with this now um so again let's go here and see what's going on so it is very nice it's it's the drawing the stage very uh very nicely so actually i'm not gonna go for um, you, you need to go uh, by drawing stage by stage till you reach the uh, q uh, q uh, line intersection with the top and bottom section which is gonna be uh kind of repeating the same thing and the for me the worst part is just plotting 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 because the this would be just uh, for, for the calculation just copying and pasting without doing any more calculations you, you will just uh, copy and paste these these two or three rows and then you have whatever number of stages you want so plotting would be the longest thing so i i drew actually the final shape uh so i made seven stages in the top and seven stages in the bottom and how it looks like i i, I did everything with the colors and the thickness of the line so it looks nice um so it will take little bit. It will take little bit of time, but it's worth it actually. Um. So the the cool thing about this diagram now is that you can uh, change anything in the uh, in the inputs that you have, and it will automatically um, uh, reflect in the diagram with uh, the stages, the top section line, bottom section line, everything. So let's assume the XD is um, ninety six uh, percent. So here, this everything was shifted to the ninety six and you have actually some excess diagrams and actually as you know the uh, the excel doesn't understand that you are plotting stages on like a field diagram in this distillation process it just plots the line that you ask it to uh, plot so you need to delete the lines uh, add more lines whatever thing you need to do like in this case if it's like three percent then you'd have some more stages here um in, in case you have smaller alpha let's say you uh, like two point eight uh then yeah you will have closer uh thing so it's it's actually nice because you would see how the changes will reflect in the stages and, and the number of the stages that you have and it, it's it's uh it's cool i, I like the, the the way that you can um, do it this way so now you can play with the diagram plot everything change any one of the inputs do whatever thing you want and it will in no time uh, change in the diagram so uh, imagine if you're doing this manually then it would take forever to change one thing uh, or one parameter in the uh, uh, in your diagram and then replot everything uh, so this is everything for today hope it's uh, it's useful for you thanks bye bye